YouTube. Okay, so in this video, I will be talking about a question that a viewer had left, had left behind in one of my videos asking me what the difference is between niacinamide 10% by The Ordinary and the niacinamide that's present in CeraVe PM. So I have both the products. This one I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. It was before the reformulation. So this does have parabens in it. And this one is the ordinary niacinamide at 10%. So, yeah, I mean, I, I thought about the difference between the two in a very passive way when I was trying to incorporate them into my skincare routine. I never actually use them at the same time. So when I'm using this, I don't use the ordinary niacinamide. And when I'm using this, I don't use the CeraVe PM. The reason I'm comparing CeraVe PM is because the CeraVe AM also has niacinamide, but it is a sunscreen, so I'd like to put that. And also the question the viewer left me was between the CeraVe PM niacinamide. So thanks for that question. I thought about it more and I did some research. So all the research that I looked at that had clinical trials, it was using between 2% to between 2% and 5% niacinamide topically and it never actually looked at 10% niacinamide so there is no strong evidence looking at 10% niacinamide however this still worked for me and it worked for a lot of people but that is still anecdotal evidence this on the other hand we don't know exactly what percentage of niacinamide is in here but I can be very sure that it does not contain 10% Something that is similar between both of these is that they're both fragrance free and they both contain no essential oils, no masking fragrance, no plant extracts. So I feel very safe using them as someone with sensitive acne prone and eczema prone skin. However, um, the main difference is that you cannot use this alone. You have to pair this with a more occlusive moisturizer. And also, I only like using this once in my routine. So I don't use this morning and night. I only use this at night. And I use like one drop of it. This I use, when I use this, I use this on wet face. And I use this both in the morning and at night. I never ever use this on wet face because I, I get breakouts from using this. I didn't have a lot of breakouts before or maybe I thought it was because of you know monthly women issues I I don't know I never was able to narrow it down but I strongly think that it was because of this if the ordinary 10% niacinamide works for you I say keep using it if you are someone who's interested in trying out niacinamide, I would say try the CeraVe PM. CeraVe PM is expensive. In Canada, it is anywhere from $15 to $18, so it's not necessarily cheap. Whereas 60ml 60 ml of the ordinary niacinamide is around $10 or $11. So there's definitely a price variation, but it's really hard to compare the two because one is a moisturizer, the other one is a serum. But I think you can use both of them if you are careful and you take the necessary uh, precautions like using an occlusive, um, depending on what kind of um, humidity you live in. I mean, I would never use a serum by itself. Additionally, CeraVe PM is for minimalistic people i mean if you don't have a lengthy routine like i do just keep it simple use CeraVe pm if you you if you do have a lengthy routine or you like incorporating a lot of different products into your skincare routine i can see using niacinamides uh sorry the ordinary niacinamide um one caveat to using the ordinary niacinamide is that the manufacturer says not to use it with vitamin C, so I don't know. I don't think there's any limitations to what you can use this with. Yeah, so that's all for me today. As you can see, I have a huge sit on my 
chin, but I'm okay with it. It doesn't hurt. It was hurting like a couple days ago, but I just wanted to post a really short, quick video without just rambling, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and until next time, best wishes.